Hello, this is Industrial Surplus, and we are here to do a video demonstration of a 1997 Kingston gap bed engine lathe. It's a model HD22160, and it'll swing 22 inches over the ways, uh, 31.38 inches over the gap and 13.39 inches over the cross slide. Has a maximum distance between centers of 160 inches. Has a 4.09 inch hole through the spindle. Spindle speeds are from 13 to 1200 RPMs. Tailstock tapers, a number five Morse taper. The spindle nose mount is a D28 cam lock. Has a two speed tailstock quill travel. Fast and slow, which is way down here. It's equipped with two steady rests. It's a 10 inch capacity steady rest there and a 15 inch capacity steady rest here. It's also uh, equipped with uh, this 20 inch three jaw chuck. A 12 inch three jaw chuck. And a Loris style tool post holder with these inserts. Bull nose uh, center. This is a uh, stock stop that goes into the spindle. If you want to feed your work in so far, that uh, can be set up to use as, uh, as a stop. It's equipped with the uh, level leveling pads. I have 10 of these pads here. It has longitudinal rapid traverse. Push button, forward and reverse. Hardening ground ways, they're in really good condition. Taper attachment, this machine is really loaded. Taper attachment, I don't know if I mentioned it, the uh, Sony, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Southwest Industries track to access digital readout. Has a five uh, five tenths uh, increment uh, positioning resolution. Has the threading dial, spindle break. There's a live center in the tailstock that's included. And a, uh, I guess a coolant uh, pump, and uh, the base is the tank, I guess. It's a 10 horsepower motor, wired for 230 volt, three phase. And the machine is in very good running condition, and I will demonstrate that for you now. This is the uh, slowest speed. I have the big heavy chuck on there, so I'm not gonna go too fast. But all the speeds and uh, ranges do work. We guarantee the machine for 30 days. The uh, lead screw and uh, feed shaft are turning. We have different ranges here. Inch metric threading. Jog uh, mode for the chuck. Spindle speeds, like I said, uh, 13 to 2, 1200 RPM. see which uh, axis is moving at this point. Well, let me uh, figure out how to do that again. I just did it, but I forgot. Here's the rapid traverse. Very smooth, very quiet, real nice. Uh, 
I, I have to tell you that the handles, there's very little backlash. There's, there's, you know, it's just a nice, tight machine. All of them are loose and comfortable and easy to move. One thing about this uh, longitudinal handle here, it comes off. And I pull it off every time. So let me, uh, I'll be right back and I will show you how uh, the feeds work on the uh, carriage and cross -line. Okay, now that we have a handle on how to operate the machine, I will uh, go ahead and demonstrate that portion for you. This is the, uh, the cross slide and the uh, lever here operates the, uh, activates the uh, motion. Activate the, uh, the longitudinal. You pull that out. And everything does work well. Speed change here, maybe. It's nice to have that jog feature on the spindle because then, if you need to uh, get the gears to mesh, uh, just give it a hit. It's about 20 RPM. to uh, the other uh, speed range. Try 530, see what happens. Very nice, smooth, solid machine. This is a really, I've seen a lot of lathes. This is a, a nice lathe for the size machine it is, the age. Very smooth, well maintained. Show you the uh, rapid here. All right, 
right, that's the uh, machine. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. As always, we'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.